About one month ago, we had taken a look at a project by E2B Dev called AI Artifacts. It's an open source version of Anthropic's Claude Artifacts and Versatile V0, meaning that it's free and fully extendable. And the reason why it's so good is because it's quite buffed up as you can transform datasets, designs, and prompts into fully functional apps, UI components, as well as interactive dashboards, which is something that you can see right now. Now, with AI artifacts, you can full on build and deploy full stack apps for free, and this is within a couple of minutes. Now, you may be wondering, what is an AI artifact? Well, with Anthropic's new release of their Claude 3.5 Sonnet model, they introduced a new feature within their chatbots called artifacts. These are standalone content pieces that Claude creates, like documents, code snippets, or even diagrams, which you can easily view, edit, and reuse in a separate window during your conversation. And now we have AI artifacts, an open source Anthropic Claude artifacts. This app is an open source version of Anthropic's Artifacts UI in their Claude Chat app. It utilizes E2B's Code Interpreter SDK, which is something that allows you to add code interpreting capabilities to your AI apps within a sandbox of E2B. And now, they have released few upgrades to their platform, which includes several new features. For starters, you can now use the O1 preview model for free, which is absolutely insane. You're going to be able to access it for free within their cloud platform, as well as many of these other providers, without you requiring to input any API keys. They also have introduced this new UI, which is more sleek and modern, and this is where you can also upload your own file to describe the app that you want to replicate or even have it so that it can write the code similar to what you upload and they have also added a new change to the personas where they have it so that there's an auto feature which will select the best type of agent to utilize such as a python data analyst or next.js developer and in this case they added a couple of new personas possibly my favorite feature is that it's going to be streaming it in the ui and it can install and use any packages from npm and pip this is really big because it's going to be able to execute back-end and front-end commands for you and it can easily deploy and build an app for you so what we're going to be doing is actually testing this out on their cloud platform but we'll also go into showcasing how you can basically deploy this locally so you can utilize it with your local models to use their cloud demo you're going to need to sign in with a github account google account or by simply just signing up with your email address so i went along and i started to test out the app that i want to create so in this case i told to create a financial management desktop app that's modern and then it can track income and expenses and display the total gain and loss on a calendar so right away i can see that it had utilized the chat un components it had fully coded this out with the o1 preview model without me even providing any sort of api key in this case it's simply utilizing its free uh, usage mode and it was able to generate the code for this app and you can see that i'm able to add transactions it's going to show the monthly overview so now what i've done is i have requested it to create me a user onboarding flow and by simply just typing a couple words it was able to help me create this and it was able to do this within a couple couple seconds and i've actually went along and i changed the persona to auto so that it could utilize various sorts of forms such as using typescript as well as tailwind css and it had also used ui components that were sourced from shad cn which is really cool so in this case it was able to build this and i was able to get the code for it in which you can actually download and you can actually have it inputted into your code base now in another example i'm now using the cloud 3.5 sonnet model and and this is obviously for free with no API key and I had requested it to create me a Pac-Man doodle game and in this case it was capable of generating this game within a couple of seconds obviously these games are a little bit easier but it's something that you can easily get started with with the help of E2B dev now one thing I want to note is that you have a couple of options to change the output tokens that are used the temperature the top P as well as the top K now in this case what I have done when I was testing this out is that it's best if you are to not touch these settings it's because it has been already optimized to be on auto mode where it will utilize whatever is required for your generations so let's now showcase how you can actually get started by installing this locally 
First things first, you need to make sure that you have the prerequisites fulfilled by making sure that you have Git installed to help you clone this repository. You need to make sure that you have Python as your programming language as well as Node.js. You need to also have VS Code installed to help you configure things such as the API keys. And lastly, you'll need to also have an E2B API key. So once you have these things ready, we can get started with the installation. You, what you want to do is head over to the GitHub repository. You want to go over to the Get Started category tab and you want to copy this command which is git clone and the repository link once you have cloned this go into command prompt and paste this in and click enter this is going to start cloning ai artifacts and once it has finished doing so you can then go into the artifacts file by typing in cd ai dash artifacts and click enter now what you want to do is run the following command to install the required dependencies so go back into your command prompt within the ai artifacts dependency paste in the npm i command which is going to start initializing and downloading everything that is essential for this dependency you can then open up vs code and what you can do is you can open up the ai artifacts repository that you just cloned so to do so just click on file and click on open folder and then open up the folder that you just cloned which is AI artifacts and what I want you to do is head over to the dot n file and this is where you're gonna to need to paste in your e2b API key and something that or the API key of your provider. So in this case, we're gonna be utilizing Anthropic as the base provider. So you can then simply just paste in the key. Once that is done, just simply rename this path to .env only. So take out the dot and template and you can then click on file and save after you've inputted your keys and then afterwards you can then head over into your command prompt you can then go over to start the deployment server so you can simply copy this you can then paste this into ai artifacts which is going to start this up on your local host and you're going to be able to build your apps from your local host so we can go over to this local host link and we can see ai artifacts opened up within it and there you go. And like I said before, you're gonna be able to add custom personas. And the great thing is they actually showcase how you can do this within the repository. We're gonna be able to add custom personas where you can easily just simply create a template with the E2B client, and you're gonna be able to develop something based off your own preference where it can utilize a couple of different plugins, a couple of different types of packages and it's going to be used mainly for you to develop that certain type of uh, script for your program and that's how you're going to be able to add these custom uh, personas but you're also going to be able to add custom lms as well as custom lm providers and this is the great flexibility that you get now with the new ai artifacts update but that's basically it for today's video. I'm interested to see what you guys are able to create with E2B's RAI artifacts. I want to see what you guys create. So definitely tag me on your Twitter post on what you create with this amazing tool. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll leave all the links in the description below. Make sure you follow me on the Patreon so that you can easily access different AI subscriptions completely for free. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. And lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with whatever is happening in the world of ai but with that thought guys have an amazing day spread positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas